Welcome to Control Engineering Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be solving gate problem on phase margin. So this was the question which was there in previous year gate examination that I'll be solving. So here question is the phase margin of the system for which loop gain that is given by g h of j omega that is 1 divided by 1 plus j omega whole cube is how much so here we are dealing with to calculate phase margin now here i'll be solving this example step by step so you should see the complete process and at the end i'll sum up this session in short how we can have a solution of it so what is phase margin so phase margin that is 180 degree plus phase at gain crossover frequency so the phase margin that is 180 degree plus phase at one uh, phase at grain crossover frequency so here we are dealing with to calculate phase at gain crossover frequency first so that i'll explain how to solve it but before that as this g h of j omega that is given let us have magnitude and phase of it so when you want to calculate magnitude so magnitude is g h of j omega that is magnitude of this so that will be 1 divided by square root of 1 plus omega square and whole cube of it so we can say this is 1 divided by 1 plus omega square raised to 3 by 2 and phase of this so that is phi so that phase is here 3 poles are there at omega is equals to 1 so we can say it is minus 3 times of 10 inverse imaginary part divided by real part imaginary part is omega real part is 1 so it will be 10 inverse of omega now to have gain crossover phase gain crossover phase we need to calculate gain crossover frequency first so gain crossover frequency that is happening at magnitude is equals to unity so gain crossover frequency that will happen if magnitude that is 1 so in that case you will be finding gain crossover frequency so let us have magnitude that is equals to 1 so 1 is equals to this so 1 divided by 1 plus omega square raised to 3 by 2 that is equals to 1 so at that time this frequency will be gain crossover frequency so if you solve this 1 plus omega square raised to 3 by 2 that is equals to 1 so this will be resulting into 1 plus omega gc square is equals to 1 if you take this power off then we can say gain crossover frequency that is 0 so now we have gain crossover frequency that is 0 so gain pro crossover frequency that is 0 now now phase at gain crossover frequency so at that we need to place frequency that is gain crossover frequency so if you place gain crossover frequency in this phase you will be finding phase at grain crossover frequency so if i place omega gc is equals to 0 minus 10 inverse 0 so this will be 0 so phase at grain crossover frequency that is 0 in this case so we can have phase margin and phase margin that is 180 degree plus this so that is 0 over here so we can say it is 180 degree and in terms of radian it is pi so our best answer that is this pi so when you want to calculate phase margin you will have to calculate that by 1 plus 
phase at gain crossover frequency and gain crossover frequency is happening when magnitude of system that is 1. So when you have magnet, magnitude of system is equals to 1, you will be having gain crossover frequency and when you place gain crossover frequency in phase, you will be having phase at gain crossover frequency and that phase at gain crossover frequency that you need to substitute in phase margin formula to have phase margin. So this is how we can have phase margin. I hope that you have understood this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on your suggestions, in future I will place videos. Thank you so much for watching this video.